What's going on guys? Welcome and welcome back to Adult It Makes Me Wine. I'm your girl Chris and if Adult It Makes You Wine too, then we might as well wine together. It is still March and I am still representing that black girl magic and today we are trying another black woman owned wine. This wine that we're trying is called Love Corkscrew and it is by Krishan Lampley. She's a Chicago native. Um, she got her start in the wine industry she, when she first owned her own art and wine bar, um, which unfortunately got destroyed in a Chicago flood. Um, so her studio, I mean her wine and art bar got flooded and then she ventured into the wine industry and which brings us to now this amazing wine. This is a Pinot Grigio okay and before we get into the wine itself yes i did sh say she was into art which you can clearly see by looking at the labeling on this bottle okay she has very many different wines and they each have cute um sayings on the labeling this one says good times good friends love corkscrew this is an american pinot grigio it's 12 percent alcohol by volume and i'm gonna go ahead and read the back because that is what i do this one says from backyard barbecues with friends to self-care saturday nights in we always know how to bring it because it isn't just one thing it's a whole mood it's the song on the speakers the vibe in the room the wine in your glass no matter the occasion, we got you. Take it easy, uncork, and enjoy the moment. Indulgence knows no boundaries. Isn't that amazing? That is so dope. Pinot Grigio is a medium bodied, flavorful wine with a crisp and clean apple and pear character. This robust flavor makes the perfect companion to light seafood, meat, and cheeses. We don't have no meat and cheeses tonight, but we're definitely going to enjoy this wine. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is so cute and I'm just excited to be trying it. So Krishan Lampley, if you are watching this video, thank you so much for all you have done in the wine industry. Thank you so much for representing us black women in the wine industry. There aren't very many of us and you are doing the doggone thing girl. So big ups to you. Continue doing what you're doing. Continue doing great things for us and for yourself and good luck with all your endeavors boo. There goes my sound. I love that sound y'all. I love that sound. All right, so just from looking at it, we're gonna start off with our five S's. We're gonna see first with our eyes how bright and beautiful that is. It's almost, it's not even, it's a pale yellow. I will give that, I will give it a pale yellow. We're going to swirl it in our glass. Let those flavors open up. And now we're going to smell. Mm, and it smells beautiful. It definitely smells like apple, pear, citrus. Maybe a tiny bit of lemon in there. It smells beautiful. <laughs> we see, we saw the wine, we swirled the wine, we smelt the wine. Now we're going to sip and savor our wine. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Okay. So it's definitely bold and crisp, y'all. Definitely bold and crisp. And when I say crisp, I mean like kind of sharp on the tongue it's got a little bit of a zest a little bit of a tang to it um if you're not a huge fan of drier wines you may not like this one i like it because 
my palette has started to move towards the drier side of the spectrum but this is really really good this is definitely a multi-purpose type of wine this is definitely something that you can pair with cookout food barbecue um, seafood but this is also a very chill kind of wine that you can just kind of relax to in the winter time if you're sitting by the fire or if you know like girls night chilling watching movies date night like pinot grigio is definitely very versatile and Krishan lampley definitely hit the nail on the head with this one mm. that's my happy dance y'all <laughs> very nice very very nice while we are speaking of a pinot grigio here are five things that you should really kind of know about a pinot grigio okay first obviously it's a white wine grape that originated in france and is now widely planted across the world in italy and the u.s pinot grigio is often known for its light, crisp, refreshing characteristics, and is also um, more favored in the spring and summertime. But like I just said, if you wanted to drink it in the wintertime, you most definitely can. Despite its popularity, Pinot Grigio is a mutation of the Pinot Noir grape, so it can also be used to make the light red wine um, Pinot Gris. As I mentioned before, Pinot Grigio is a versatile wine that can pair with a variety of foods, including spicy foods, seafoods, barbecued meats, and salads. It is often associated with Italy, but it's also grown in areas like France, Germany, and the United States. So there you have it. Those are five things that you need to know when it comes to a Pinot Grigio. I definitely suggest that you that you try it if you're trying to elevate your palate or if you're trying to become more well-rounded with your wines. Um, Pinot Grigio is definitely a white wine that you want to try. It's good. Try it in the summertime. Try it in the springtime. Try it at your cookout, your birthday parties, your anniversary parties, whatever. It's definitely very diverse <laughs> and it can be used for all different occasions so guys thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much Krishan Lampley for making this wine um, I definitely enjoyed it and I definitely look forward to trying some of your other wines if you want to learn more about this love corkscrew wine go visit her Instagram page at love corkscrew um, you can also go to lovecorkscrew.com and check out some of her other products that she has. She has candles, merch, um, apparel, all kinds of things. So definitely go check her out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos. Share this video with your friends so that they can be up on game too. As we are trying all of the black, <laughs> the black woman owned wines this month. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!